Guys, the Red Ranger helmet is missing. We need that for the set. Ah, yes! Austin, the game is afoot. Uh, are we doing this now? Yes. Yes, we are. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Wait, <clears throat> so if we're, are we doing like a Sherlock Holmes thing, or what, what kind of detective thing are we doing here? Ah, yes! We are doing Sherlock Holmes. Okay, that's why, um, which version of Sherlock Holmes are we doing? That's kind of important. I know there are a lot of different versions, but Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, right, originally came up with the character Sherlock Holmes. And I know there's a lot of versions. So the original character is kind of this mystery and intrigue person. Uh, and we, you know, we have some of the older movies that have come out. But more recently, we've had the Robert Downey Jr. movies, and then we've had the BBC Sherlock both of which have done an incredible job for the stories of Sherlock after they went into public domain years and years ago, right? Because they're written back in the 1800s. So I was thinking BBC Sherlock, because then I get to be Benedict Cumberbatch. Okay, that's why I was asking, because um, if I get to be Martin Freeman, then I'm actually totally cool with this. If I get to play, pretend to be the guy who plays Bilbo Baggins, I'll go along with this whole Sherlock thing. So uh, what's our first move, Sherlock? Well, the first move would be to investigate the crime scene. So, Emma said the studio, so I think we should pop into the studio and see what we can figure out. That's good, it's right there. Let's do it. Okay, so we made it to the crime scene. What do we do next? Well, the first thing to do would be figure out what happened and try and get as many clues to solve this case as possible. Okay, so we're gathering evidence. Gathering evidence, yes. And uh, so we know that the Red Ranger's helmet is missing, as it is not in the center of our set on the pedestal. Yeah, great. So we at least know that the crime happened. Right. We know that it's not here like Emma said, which is, which is the first step in solving this crime. Okay, so uh, what would Sherlock Holmes do? Well, Sherlock Holmes, with the limited resources that he would have, would make a lengthy, elegant, and probably somewhat convoluted highly evolved deduction based off of what he sees in the room, what he smells. He would know the age of that dust just by looking at it somehow. And he would, um, he would be able to come up with quite a lengthy string of information just by being in the room and visualizing what happened. Hmm. So, yeah, our first though. step. There actually is Actually, he has a fingerprint in that. Well, we can at least tell the house goblins. And now, Sherlock would obviously figure out their motive. Because every crime has a motive. All right, and well, that's one thing that Sherlock does very, very well, is figure out the person's motive. Because for Sherlock, it's all about the clue, and uh, the clues in the puzzle. It's about the game of solving the crime. And that's what, in the BBC version, he is obsessed with. And in all of the versions, he is, you know, very in-depth with. Alright. Uh, is there anything more to gather in this room? Well, is anything disrupted besides the helmet? No. Did they take anything else? No, everything's there. Okay, then I suggest we try and go figure out where the helmet is by looking around a little, seeing what else we can grab. Because they had to get in the house somehow, right? Uh, well, let's look elsewhere. We'll go check the front door. Yes, let's go check the front door. So, uh, why do you like Sherlock so much, anyway? You know, it's a... I don't think it's necessarily Sherlock that I love. I mean, I enjoy Sherlock as the character. He's great, but I think it's more about Watson, really. Because, I mean, Watson is the main protagonist. It's all written from Watson's point of view. And it's Watson that you really get endeared with and, and love over the course of, you know, especially the BBC television series. Um, and it's, it's him that really just draws you in. I mean, he's an old, uh, older armored doctor, right? And, um, of course, he's played by Martin Freeman. Yeah. I mean, how could you not love him, right? Yeah, I do love Martin um, Freeman. Clothes for maintenance, huh? Oh, quarantine. quarantine. Yeah. Quarantine. Well, and this has this been there for a long time. So, uh, I mean, I don't... I don't see any signs of... I have made a deduction. 
great, yeah, uh, sure. Take us through your deductions. How do you okay. solve the crime? I've solved it because I noticed a human took it, right? Yeah. And there's no breakage on the door. Okay. There's no forced sign of entry. Oh, which means they had a key. They had a key, so they live here. Yeah. And Sam is sitting outside on the porch with it on and a bag of popcorn. Yeah. Okay, well, why, why did he take it then? Let's see. What could a modus be? Well, he took it right as we were about to film an episode on Sherlock and mystery. So I think it was probably because he wanted to provide a premise for this episode. This entire episode, that's it. Well, I'm glad we got that straightened out then. I'm gonna go back to sitting down. But, c come on. We were, I was having fun at least. Sam, can we have the helmet back now? Please?